Last Chance U, Dynasty Mode, James Madison Edition, back for some more. Cooper Cup, Antonio Brown, Khalil Mack, J.J. Watt, Josh Allen. Those are just a few impactful players I named in the NFL that were two stars or less and slept on in the recruiting portal. So how is this going to work? We're going to hop on to NCAA 14 and play Dynasty Mode. Great, but there is a twist. We are seeking out one to two star prospects to give them their last chance, seeing if they have what it takes to become a star at the next level. So in our first year of recruiting, we can only recruit an entire class of one to two star players. And from there, we'll have a pretty good idea of who we want to focus on as the main storyline in the video. So put your hands together for the stars of today's show. Kevin Pittman, an under-recruited two-star, six-foot-one, 202-pound scrambling quarterback out of Adamsville, Alabama. He is determined to show everyone why they were wrong, even if it takes a few years to prove himself on the field. And next up, Mike Rhodes, tight end, slept on by many, and a bit raw around the edges. We're dreaming on this man's size. Huh? Pause. Coming in at six foot seven and 257 pounds at a high school, this is legit. Gronk Jr. right here, for real, for real, and JMU is determined to unlock his full potential. Now, shout out to this guy who wanted to see Joey Gatewood featured in the episode. I created him, but he wasn't interested in coming to James Madison. In fact, our program had a deal breaker. So let's jump in and pick this one up after two years of grinding in the gym, progressing our skills, and getting ready for this moment to shine. And it starts with Mike Rhodes in his red shirt sophomore season. Fourth and three. Let's see if we can see big number 85. There he is. Mike Rhodes making his first catch of his collegiate career. Goes for nine yards. Under recruited out of high school, Mike Rhodes had no other offers. Well, the sim determined this one would turn ugly, but hey, that means garbage time for Mike Rhodes. All right, believe it or not, JMU scored two quick touchdowns and we're here within a touchdown. Whoa! With just 20 seconds left, no timeouts. There's actually a chance in this one and Rhodes is gonna increase our chance. What a stiff arm. Breaking a couple tackles down to the red zone. And we got 14 seconds left. Hurrying up to the line. 14 seconds left against Maryland. We're snapping it. We're going to hit Rhodes across the middle again. First down. And six. Oh, my gosh. Mike Rhodes. Make an impression in your first game. What in the world? Down by three touchdowns. We get that coveted third touchdown. Four, six. Rhodes is the one to fight for it. The six foot seven machine. Second and goal overtime. Looking for some scoring here. Ah. Third and goal. We're going to call the halfback angle. See if our tight end or running back could get open. RB looks open. Harris fighting for it. And he got it. Oh my goodness. Second and three. There's Rhodes in motion. We find him. First and 10, moving our way down. Rhodes across the middle, he's got him. Another touchdown. Rhodes having a collegiate game like no other man in this first ever start. But talk about having a game. Atkins, the quarterback, senior quarterback here, just putting on a show. JMU holds on for the big W. Unbelievable performance from Billy Atkins, not only setting the school record for passing yards in a game, also dropping five touchdowns. On the receiving front, everyone really contributed and got it done today. Look at Mike Rhodes. Eight catches, 90 yards, two touchdowns. All right, training results are in at the end of the year. Pittman up to an 85. Rhodes up to an 83. Junior redshirt season, we starting to get some of our guys out there. And Rhodes looking to have an even greater year, too. First and 10. We're going to scramble here. Rhodes. Nope. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's check out Lester on defense, the newly converted outside linebacker. It just lets the guy get right on through for a touchdown. Fegan scores, and Illinois is up to a massive lead. This defense reeling. Late comeback, not enough. Illinois wins. Under-recruited out of high school, we gave this hard knock his only chance, and he has been delivering, waiting in the wings for a long time now. He spelled in for one game this last season and threw for 237 passing yards, four touchdown passes, no ends. He's ready to go. Rhodes was a hard knock at six foot seven. This tight end had a surgeon year. Paul Lester at right outside linebacker at 85 tackles, half a sack, 13 tackles for loss, three ints, and two forced fumbles. My goodness. That was the right call, moving him to linebacker. Counting out their whole life, they've been used to being the underdog. Pittman and co. are ready to go. Man, I am amped for this final season. Pittman and Rhodes on offense, the stars of the James Madison offense. 
looking forward to a great year. As you can see, 93 overall going up against Coastal Carolina in their first matchup. Let's check it out. Battle on the teal field going up against Coastal. Let's kick off the season strong. You smell that? It's the first game of the season. I'm controlling Lester here, a star linebacker in the making. Let's see if he can get a sack. Nope, that's a bad pass. Sending Lester in here on a blitz, third and eight. Let's see if he can get through. He's trying to find his way around. Nope, but that could be picked. That's dropped. Here we go. Pittman and Rhodes on the field for the same time at the first time, and we connect to Rhodes. Looking to get this offense cooking quick. First and 10. I'm going to see if Rhodes gets open there. Now nah, we're just going to keep it. Pittman has got some wheels. First and 10. Going back to the play action. There's that star receiver. Look at that stat line from last year. Being a dual threat quarterback is a must as we got wheels to also keep it ourselves. Opens so much on offense. And just like that, read option. Pittman, 4-6. There's his first collegiate touchdown on the ground. He threw four last season in relief. But first start, first drive touchdown we're gonna go empty just see if we can get a big connection out here i see taylor putting in some work on his db interesting we're out there but first down nonetheless let's go out to taylor once more this is the play i like to drop when i'm looking for my tight end because he gets open just like that Rhodes, four six let's go that's that tandem that hard knock last chance tandem they're making the most of their last chance you know what they say third drives a charm we're gonna give it one more go around here Rhodes across the middle had enough time for that play to develop as he just works his way through three defenders third and ten let's keep this drive alive I see a guy on the outside here that's gonna be Burnett just outside the red zone honestly I don't have many questions right now second and five dropping it out to Rhodes once more he's got some blockers ahead of got some options here on the sprint out and uh, Rhodes is that option the connection strikes twice celebrating Pittman's first start as quarterback, four total touchdowns, 300 plus yards. I would like to see more where that came from. I could not have pictured a better storyline than this. Ninth ranked JMU, 9-0 in the season. Pittman and Rhodes leading this team to destiny. JMU destined for great things this year, it looks like. Going up against Tulane. Getting the read option in a big lane. First and 10 at midfield for Pittman. We got a man on the run. What a throw to Wilcox. Let's keep the good times rolling and the pressure on. Hood's in motion. I kind of want to hit him here just to put a feather in the cap. Let's see if he can get open. Oh, yeah, he does. Fourth and goal. What field goal? We don't do that here. We're going to look for Rhodes. The only road I've ever known. Get through. Fight. No, just short. What a storyline. We did it. 12-0 on the season going into the championship game. Going up against Rice, though, they also did it. 12-0. Two 12-0 squads squaring up in the championship game. Someone's got to go down. Here we go. Rice, JMU, championship weekend. First and 10, getting pretty close to midfield. There's Rhodes. I'm going to travel down that road any day. Second and two, we're just getting right outside the red zone. There's Rhodes again. I just like to feed him all day long. Fourth and two, analytics say go for it, and we got to get a little risky in the championship game, that's for sure. I got a couple options, but the legs will do wonderful. First in goal, we're just going to call up a quick slant, see if anyone can get open. I do see a guy going towards the back of the end zone, Wilcox for six. That is a school record, folks. 41 touchdown passes on the season for Pittman. Just dumping it to the running back in time. What a spin move. The Dukes just keep driving, and Rhodes is open. You don't leave that man wide open. Audibling out to an empty split. I think we can get our guy Rhodes off the rip. We do, and he holds on. Fourth and goal. Risk it for the biscuit, as they say. And Rhodes just open. Touchdown. That connection cannot be stopped. Pittman to Rhodes is on another level. There is the record all by himself. Pittman passes Cole Johnson and gets that record. Let's go, big dog. That's going to do it. Conference champs, undefeated season. Is that enough to get to a Natty Championship bid? Man, let's find out. Heisman winner, it's official. Pittman from under-recruited, counted out by everyone in high school. In his first year starting his last year, senior year, red shirt senior year, 
puts on a show winning Heisman with 3,500 passing yards, 816 rushing yards, 52 total touchdowns. He did his thing. Rhodes just continued to excel this year. His best year hands down jmu dukes the one seed going up against number two georgia this ain't gonna be easy the moment we've all been waiting for the dukes in the natty championship i just i can't believe it i'm still in awe georgia scored pretty easily we don't want to get blown out here like tcu did in the national championship downs let's see if we can find someone i see x getting open wilcox makes the grab i thought that was picked for a second more when it's the national championship doesn't it what am i doing we got to get something going here as we're down by two scores already as Rhodes just makes a great play 24 yards let's keep it moving we do need to score here and relatively fast i'd say if we want to keep this game close heisman Pittman here really needs to get a plan going because this team looks unstoppable as taylor just breaks free going down the sideline can he finish handoff tucker six we're back in this thing defense stepped up with a massive interception giving us the ball back and a chance to get right down to the goal line again second and goal let's see if we can get some motion up the middle Rhodes had some space and was clear for takeoff touchdown Rhodes we're back in and just about to tie this thing up despite all the turnovers there is still hope in this game only down by three with just a minute 30 to go fresh set of downs let's keep it moving the middle is open once more you can't leave that man open just under 50 seconds man this is getting to crunch time oh my goodness scrambling Pittman gets it done himself first down coming down to the wire getting close to field goal range and that'll get us into range but one does not simply go to the national championship just to tie a game up. You go to win. Just under 20 seconds. Let's snap it off. Oh, yeah. Rhodes. No. Picks to lose it. That's a heartbreaker. Still gutted by that result, but sending two under-recruited guys to the league is a massive success.